Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to implement Ajax search. However, before we implement that, I am going to show you a small trick which is very useful for debugging purposes. I am going to break this query like this. And now I am going to extract the SQL using two SQL method into this query variable. Now I will pass this query variable to our view. And within our view, I'm going to display this at the top. And now if I go to our browser, refresh it, we see the query at the top. This is going to be very useful. Now we'll display the search box over here in this div. I will define an input with type equal to search and I'll give a placeholder as search and then I will have some tailwind CSS classes to this input box. Let's uh, check this in the browser. Yeah, it looks good. However, I'm going to remove this padding as it doesn't seem to be required and yeah that looks better all right let's uh find this input box to a our component using the property that i'm going to call q so now if i go to our component i'll create this property q now this queue will hold our search text and what I want, I want to search on the name and price column. So over here I'm going to define another when clause and when this queue is not empty, I will create a closure and this closure, I want to create a where condition which I want to wrap into two brackets so i will create another group over here and within this group i will have another closure and here i will have my condition i want to search on the name so i'll do a like and i will use this queue and i want to search on the price which would be a over condition so i'm using over where and i will also need to use percentages well this looks good so let us test this in the browser so if i search for something and this is working fine and we can even use the debounce property that live wire offers i'm going to set it to 500 millisecond and we can even search by price there we go one issue that we still have is that if we go to the third page and search for something well, it is not going to show. We had this issue while we implemented Active Filter, and we know we how we can fix it. I'm going to copy this method and paste it over here. I'm going to call it updating queue, and this will reset the page. So if I now reload the browser, I'm on third page. If I search something, I'm taken to the first page. So that is also working fine. And in case you have not noticed, our query is also working fine. Our condition is wrapped between the two brackets and it is having the OR clause. So that brings us to the end of this video. We have successfully implemented Ajax search using LiveWire.